seriously on starting over. Summer admitted she had an affair with a married man. When you had sex with him. Which didn't go over well with her roommates. I have no views. Not all of us have been a prodigy of the other woman. Mm -hmm. She also accidentally insulted Josie. You're so like, okay, my boobs so were this big in eighth grade. Summer's commenting about how my bosoms are a little too big for my bathing suit. It's just not a good feeling to know that I have a lot more weight to lose since having Chloe. So Summer tried to make it up. The only thing I can think of to try to make this right is finding a swimsuit that fits Josie. And Iyanla started to show Kim she was more than her makeup and expensive clothes. Do you wear a mask, Kim? Yes, with the way I look, with the way I put myself together. House, the car, the cards, the jag. So perhaps if we remove the mask, we'll get to the real you. Here's your traffic report, LA. It's slow going on both the north and southbound lanes of the 405 freeway at Wilshire due to a stalled school bus. Are you having a good morning? Yes, I'm <laughs> praying and praising the Lord. Oh, good for you. Yes. Is that a beautiful sight or what? It is. How you doing today? Good. 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 All right, we're going to go down okay. in the study. Great. This is a beautiful morning, but I have a feeling it's going to be a rough day for Kim. So I'm going to ask you my question that I always uh -oh. ask you. How real do you want to be? How real do you want to be, Kim? Well, I want to be real. Yeah. I know it's going to be hard. Yeah. I know the truth about you. So we're going to go in the guest room for a moment. OK. I want to show you something. OK? okay. But it was absolutely ridiculous to come in here this morning and see Josie, like, at her wit's end, like, ready to cry. The baby's been up since 3 o'clock this morning. She hasn't been going down easy for the last couple nights. Josie really needs a break from it. And she deserves the help. So I'm glad that I get to spend some time with Chloe this morning. I don't want to give you this, because then every time you scream, you're going to expect this. But I don't want you to wake your mom up. Tell me what you see, top to bottom. Tell me what you see. Um, pretty eyes. Good. A pretty face. And I see a flashy person. Mm -hmm. somebody, Look at her. Look somebody at her. that, you know, dresses really nice and likes clothes and likes to dress nice and... Why? Um, Why does she like to dress nice and look nice? Why? Why? I guess so mm -hmm. that I feel better about myself. Tell me what you see beneath the clothes, beneath the makeup, beneath oh, the flash. Oh, what do you see? That. You yeah. mean internally? Yeah, what do you see? Tell me what you see. Well, I see a girl who thinks she's ugly. Mm. I used to cry about being ugly. I thought I was so ugly and uh, angry. Do you see ugly this morning? Yeah. Do you see angry this morning? Mm -hmm. What else do you see this morning? Um, judgmental. Judgment. Do you see sad? That? Sadness. Mm -hmm. Look at her sadness. Very sad. Look at her sadness. I feel like people won't like me or accept me for who I am if I'm not like this. But if you can look and see the anger, the fear, the anxiety, the judgment, the sadness, the ugliness, mm -hmm. don't you think other people can see it too? I didn't think so before I got here, but I'm beginning to think that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is the goal to cover up the stuff or is the goal to learn to be okay with the stuff well now it's to learn to be okay with it it used to be to cover it up okay. i think so, i go to a lot of effort to cover it up i think until today until today so kim i want you to wipe the makeup off <laughs> i just spent an hour putting it on good <laughs> watch how quick it comes off a very important step for kim in mending her broken relationships is removing the mask 
Her makeup is a part of that mask. I've had my eyes done, and I have Botox. Now, what is all of that for? To keep the wrinkles away. Getting old. I don't want to get I'm scared to death of getting old. <laughs> I don't want to get old. I have a huge fear of getting old. Well, Kim, because of dying, human, it's going to happen. I know, but I'm going to fight it every step of the way. Mm. Until today. I think this should have all of the necessities. Aha! We do have wipes. We're gonna change your pants. We're gonna get you dressed. Take a look and tell me what you say. I don't like it. Tell me why. Because I feel like I look ugly. And old and not the person I used to be. Well, Kim, even if you are old and ugly, <laughs> can you learn to love yourself just like you are? That's the question. Well, yeah, I'm trying. So can I stand with you while you learn to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to go upstairs and get all of your makeup and bring it to me. All of it. No. Yes. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> Why? Why? Just out of curiosity. I want you to present the truth of who you are because that's the beauty. But I don't know how that's going to help. Trust the process. Uh. Hey, Kim. What? While you're at it, yeah. bring all your jewelry. I don't know what the, the point is in me doing this. I don't know what she expects me to gain from this. Bring a Louis Vuitton purse, too. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Just bring it, Kim. No. Why don't I stay in my yeah. own world? You always why tell don't me I? that. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, why don't I? I think you should. Using? <laughs> what? Just bring it. You don't know what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> All right. This is not funny. I am so pissed off. Why is it funny? I don't happen to think it's funny at all. I have to get all of my makeup and my jewelry and my purse, and um, I tell Summer that I'm mad, and she is laughing about it, and I told her that I really didn't think it was that funny because um, I'm not very happy at this moment. So what's in the Louis? Well, just my stuff, my wallet, my sunglasses. Okay, so no. you take this, and I'll take this. <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? Well, that's your purse. That's ugly. Okay, speak It doesn't to me. match my shoes. She's very sensitive. I know. You'll well, see that. Like, you'll come to... I know and now, but I can't take it back. Yesterday, when I made the comment to Josie about her swimsuit, <laughs> it, I mean, it was all in joking and in fun, I thought, because we were sitting there kind of laughing about how it was, for, you know, a swimsuit from eighth grade, and... It didn't quite fit up here anymore, and I didn't realize that she was going to be so sensitive to it. She took it the wrong way. I know, and I don't know how to fix it. I ordered her a bathing suit last night, though, but I haven't told her that. I ordered something. I mean, I don't know if she'll like it or not, but I was like, well, until she finds what she likes. Because last night she said she wasn't going to go swim until she got a new suit. You can't waste your energy trying to adjust yourself so that everybody likes you. I don't think makeup and jewelry or clothes or anything um, helping, you know, help my anxiety. I'm glad you mentioned clothes. Oh, I want to give you your wardrobe. <laughs> now that's really going to piss me off. Well, I don't think you can be any more pissed than you are right now, but I'm open. <laughs> Kim puts a lot of value in what she wears on the outside and pays very little attention to what's going on on the inside. So today, we're going to simplify her outside. This is gonna be your wardrobe for the next few days. Until further notice. How you think the Louis Vuitton shoes will match that? <laughs> will they match? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, tell me what's happening. What you thinking? What's going on? I told you, I'm just pissed off. Why the tears? I don't know, I'm just... Well, let's ride it out, Kim. Ride it out. It's just gonna make me feel worse about myself, not better. I'm gonna feel ugly and fat and frumpy and old and disgusting. But you feel that way anyway, sweetie. Well, now I'm gonna look it. And we'll learn to be okay with it. You may be, I'm not gonna be. Would you like to hit something right now? No. Good. I might like to break a plate. <laughs> I don't hit things, but I break things. Wanna break my finger? No. <laughs> I don't. You might after. I don't hurt people. Okay, you hurt yourself. But I don't hurt other people. You're a people. You are a people. Yeah, but I deserve it. You don't. Okay. <laughs> you don't deserve it, my love. And I want you to know that the way I know it. You don't deserve it. To be hit or abused or denied or ignored. Or... You don't deserve to treat yourself badly. You don't. And I promise you, at the other end of this tunnel, you're going to realize this. And you will never, ever do it to yourself again. Ever. Yama has given me an assignment to think of three ways that my mother, father, and sister have shown me that they love me. And then I have to record those things onto a cassette. I'm panicked because my assignment is not finished. Krista, the way I know you love me is that you are genuinely supportive of me coming here. I'm having a hard time doing this because I can't really think of broad ways that I know that they love me. I'm kind of rushing through it because it's supposed to be done this morning. Dad, the way I know you love me is that you've loved me even though you heard me tell mom that she should divorce you. The tape that I am making for my mother is the hardest one for me to do. Mom, the way I know you love me is that you lent me money and never asked me to pay you back. Well, now you're gonna make me go somewhere in public? Yeah. Yeah. Not make you. Offer you the opportunity to stand in the truth of who you are and confront your greatest fear, which is growing old. <laughs> Today, you're gonna have an opportunity to go and serve people who've already arrived at where you're afraid to be. Assist a nursing home. For Alzheimer's patients. Oh, great. I don't want to have that. Yeah. I'm afraid of that. That'll give me an anxiety attack. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Want to go journal it out? Call, you can call me all kinds of names in the journal. I will. Good. Kim is really, really, really angry with me. I can handle it because I know that she is taking a giant step towards her goal. I have to have somebody drive me. Don't ask Josie. Morning. Good morning. Josie's asleep because the baby's been up since three. And so I took Chloe so she nap. How long do I have to be? <laughs> you want to break it? Well, I don't want to clean it up. Will you clean it up for her if she breaks it? <laughs> Otherwise, I would. Sine said she'll clean it up for you if you break it. How long do I have? It doesn't say how long I have to stay here. Let's do one thing at a time. I'll come over here with Sine. No, I'm going to go outside. I don't want to do it in here with the baby. OK. Let's do this consciously. Let's not just idly break a plate. Let's call up the energy. Let's call up the anger. Let's call me all of the bees and the dogs and the, how dare I, how dare I, who the hell do I think I am to be in your world telling you what to do yeah, why don't and you how stay to do in your it. Own world? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you why stay don't, there? Yeah, why don't I stay in my yeah. own world? You always why tell me I? that. Why yeah. don't you? Yeah, why don't I? Why <laughs> don't I? I think you should. Yeah. I probably should. Yeah. Call up the ugliness, call up the fear, call up the anger, call it up. Call it up and put it all in the plate. Put it in the plate. Could 
you find Summer for me? Yes. And tell her that I'd like to meet her? I will. Summer. Hi. I'm Dr. Stan. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Would you like to talk a little while? Sure. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go out in the front. Okay. You want to get shoes or you're okay like that? I'm really okay. I'm lucky I'm in shoes and socks. Let's go. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Summer's feeling somewhat alienated from the women in the house, so it's important that she makes all the connections she can make, and that includes a connection with me. What's it like to be the new woman in the house? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> does it? Why does it suck? Yeah, today's been a real bad day, actually, for me. Um, well, they don't know. They've all had two weeks, and they know each other equally well. I hadn't really been feeling it with Tawanda at all, and that's unusual, because I usually can make friends like that, and I feel very comfortable. I don't... I laugh a lot, but I made a mistake last night with Josie by joking around about, she was talking about her cousins coming out of her swimsuit. And I was like, oh, you could, you could only see it when, when you were doing a backflip, you know, or something like that. And then that just, that was the wrong thing to say, and I didn't know that. How does it feel then to you to be in that position when all you wanted to do was to be accepted in it, you know, initially? It's frustrating. It's disappointing. Okay. I assume it's not so different than some of the other challenges you've had in your life that you can't always control what yeah. happens, right? I'm a bit of a control freak. So how good are you at recognizing that you can't control people around you? I'm getting better, but it's definitely not one of my strongest points. Okay. Who are you responsible for controlling? Me. You got it. Okay. And and I, I Jennifer told me that. Okay. <laughs> She's like, Don't worry about Everybody's that. learning a lot here, right? Yeah. 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 I know, but I'll, it's just funny because I think you learn the most in areas you weren't expecting to. I frequently don't wear my makeup and jewelry. I wear sweats at home every day. I wear a dirty old t-shirt to bed at night. So I'm really confused as to why this is going to help me. Bye-bye, Kim's anger. We're gonna go downstairs, okay? okay. One of Jennifer's steps is for her to express her feelings honestly. This exercise gives her a perfect opportunity to do just that. Did you finish all your work? I did. Good. So let me hear your tapes. We have to hear them? I don't like listening to my own voice. Can I just read to you what I've said on them? No. <laughs> Who's that? Mom. Mom. All right, let me make sure I got this going the right way here. Okay. And you don't judge me, even though I've always judged you. There was more. There, you didn't miss anything. Ah, uh, well, she did. She'll miss it. This is for you. What is it? Oh, my play. Please. <laughs> did you write something on it? Trust the process. And you know who's laughing at me. She thinks it's funny. She's just down there howling, thinking this is so funny. She's just laughing away. I go, what's so funny? And then she goes, well, I just think it's funny. I said, well, I'm glad you think it's funny, but I'm pissed off. I don't think it's funny. I don't even want to talk about what you make me feel like. Because the comment was, is that when I was in the pool, that my cousins were about to pop out. And I can't help it. If I, it, I'm already uncomfortable anyway, because I still haven't lost all my weight. But my thing is, who is she to tell somebody about their weight? And that's what I'm saying. You don't we, hear me say anything. We don't get gassed or bypassed. Do you we? don't hear me say anything. I know. Never. Because I know how uncomfortable, I know how it feels to be told that you look like a fat ass. Yes! I am so happy. I am ecstatic. This is something that I've been wanting for a long time. Hello. Hi, how are you? Are you Kim? I am. I'm Martha nice. Spence. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As I'm walking in the door and meeting the director, I feel embarrassed. 
I just don't feel um, very good about myself. And please excuse uh, the way I'm dressed. Oh. Normally I would dress nicer, but I wasn't allowed to. Just yeah. know that I would have if uh -huh. it would have been my choice. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope what you discover is it gets to be so much fun here. You'll notice everybody else is sort of dressed the same way okay. you are, and so okay. it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good. So I'm the executive director of St. Barnabas Senior Services. This right. is adult day health care. Have you uh, uh, no, had any I, experience with it? No, before? I never have. Okay. Our mission is to provide services to seniors citizens mm -hmm. uh, so that they can remain on their own oh so they don't live here no they don't that's wonderful I am afraid of getting older losing control and uh, you know and dying so for me it's very enlightening as to how this facility is trying to allow these people to live independently but yet you know um, have some assistance this this is how we usually work with volunteers we have a program called best friends oh. when a volunteer comes here then they choose a senior that they'd like to work oh, with that's nice. and then that's that's your senior oh, and that's when you come back you can work with yeah, that person I like that let me okay. introduce you to Ellen. Hi, I'm Kim. Nice, Kim. To, meet nice to meet you. Ellen's our occupational therapist. If you observe one of the seniors and you'd like to know something more about them, okay. Ellen can tell you about yeah. that. This little gal. May with the May jacket, jacket on. on and oh. she's she's so stylish. How about that cute little one? Oh, in the peach, in the yes. peach. Yeah. Her name's uh, Emma, and she has been a seamstress all her life. She's from Louisiana. Oh, how cute is she? Uh, I'm deciding to take advantage of having Tawanda alone, or as alone as I've been able to get her, with Sine, to address the tension that I've been feeling for a couple of days with her. Because it's driving me insane. Do I annoy you? Some of the things that you say piss me off. I'm feeling that from you. And in order for me to not snap, I just don't say nothing. It's like all the time when you say it. Um, it's not all the time. It's just sometimes. But that's just my opinion. That's the world according to Tawana. I'm thinking. I've been getting the cold shoulder from Tawanda for a few days now because I am the representation of the other woman, the one that her father cheated on her mother with. I'm spending a lot of time right now asking myself when and what is it gonna take for me to feel comfortable with these women and feel like I'm actually a part of the group. I love your hair. Oh, and I love your blonde hair. Oh. <laughs> You're very pretty. I am still conscious of how I'm dressed because I feel like, especially I was taught with your elders to respect them. So the whole time I am uh, not happy about the way I'm dressing, but I'm trying to uh, focus my attention on them. I wanted to meet you right off the bat. I'm 91 years old. Are you? Well, congratulations. I've broken both my hips. Then you really. Had a stroke. Wow. I've had five bladder surgeries, a knee surgery, but I'm still around. I'm a tough old bird. You certainly are. <laughs> well, I like your style. Thank you. You look beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Can I be your friend? Your friend? Your best friend? Great. I would love that. I am told that um, I would be able to choose one person that I could become a best friend to. I decide that I want to choose Emma. So tell me a little bit, of, tell me about your story. I was born in Louisiana. Born in Louisiana? Yes. And how old are you? I am. 88. Are you really? Good for you. <laughs> and still uh, have all my wits and can walk. 
Well, good for you. I'm asking her questions about herself, and then Walsy comes out. Turns out that the two of them are best friends. So now, not only do I have one best friend, but I have two. So what do you think about old age? Well, I think it's for the birds if you're not, <laughs> if you're not healthy. But if you're healthy, I think it's okay. Is it? So what is it that you want to say to Mom? The way I know you love me is that you've lent me money and never asked me to pay you back. Who is this to? My mom. That's a big deal, because I never ask for anything. And I had to ask for money one time. How do you know that's love? Because that was the first thing that came to my mind. Did you? Oh. Jennifer did not put her heart and soul in these tapes. I hear that, and I'm challenging her on it. So is that how you did this, based on the first thing that came to your mind? No, because I had to sit and think a long time for Krista and my dad. There has got to be a deeper place in you where you can connect with your mom, beyond the anger and the disappointment. This is a woman who has multiple sclerosis, who cannot see and who cannot walk. As a mom, I'm wondering what it would be like to lay down at night knowing that if anything happened to my daughter, I couldn't even see where I was going to get to her. Did you ever think about that? Of course I have. I have made plenty of sacrifices based on her condition. I'm not asking you to make But I'm sense. saying I, I have. It's crossed my mind many times. But you're bitter about and it. And yes, I'm still pissed off about it. It's not fair. I feel like I've had to put my life on hold for so long. I'm the kid, I'm not the adult. Who asked you to give up your life and put your life on hold? Who asked you Nobody to? Nobody asked me. So are you mad at your mom or are you mad at yourself? I'm mad at myself. Okay. But I didn't feel like I had any other choice. I'm gonna ask you to dig a little deeper and find a message of love for your mom. Go to that safe place inside of you where you have every single thing that you've ever needed. What would that little girl say to her mom? That little six-year-old? What would she say to her mom? That's what I wanna know. I love her even though there's things that she can't do for me. Yeah. So here, let her say that. No. Here, here, <laughs> no, come on, can't. come on. Hi, Mom. I'm practicing radical self-care. Mm -hmm. And I love you even though there's things you can't do for me. Mm. And I know you love me because if you could do those things, I know you would. I need you to listen. <laughs> and I don't want to be angry anymore. <laughs> I have never verbalized what I wanted to say to my mom or my dad, or my sister. So I'm glad that I'm able to finally put into words what I've wanted to say to them for so long. I love you, Mom. Thank you. You take this, I'll take that. Good for you. No, good. good for you. No. That voice is getting louder and louder. And that was not the voice of the six-year-old. That was the voice of the 22-year-old. Jennifer is finally in touch with all of the things she couldn't say to her family when she was a little girl. She has found her voice. So, I have here one, two, three envelopes. One for mom, one for dad, and one for Krista and use the information in there to get them in the mail today. Is there a tag that says weak? Yes, and okay, the following one has to be, st the one following that has to be strong. Well, you are strong. You don't have to be, we're making a choice. So let's find the weak tag. I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere and that I will be able to take the necklace off someday. Oh, this is delicious, this is delicious. I'm an ex-seamstress. Are you really? My mother sews, and I've never learned to sew. I, I would like to learn how to sew. You sound like my daughter. Well, my career was uh, taking care of new babies. I was a nurturing sort, and 
For 35 years, I took care of new babies. Oh. Really? And I traveled all Isn't over. Isn't that nice? Uh -huh. And I traveled all over the United States taking care of babies and once to Germany. Really? Yeah. Wow. When you help somebody else and you reach out to somebody else, it sort of helps you gain perspective on the things that are most important. Well, you know what? It was so nice meeting both of you. Well, it's been it was nice very nice also. meeting you. Can I give you a hug? I hope I see you again sometime. I really want to continue to do this. For me, when I am in a bad mood or um, feeling bad about things, it's always nice to reach out and help somebody else. Bye-bye. Oh Thanks goodness. for your time, Emma. Oh, it just makes me want to cry. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? She's so sweet. It's delightful. <laughs> yeah. Really sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought we would talk about an interesting subject today, something that I know that I've tried to avoid in my life. I don't know anybody who doesn't use this to either put themselves down or build themselves up. It's their weight. So let's talk about what weight means. I want to groan in pain because while I am aware that pretty much every woman in the world isn't happy with her weight. But this is Rhonda's version of a reality check. So what does it support you with and what does it stop you from? This is the largest that I've oh. ever been. It's true for her. I know, but anybody would die to look like you. So what goes on in your mind? What do you say to yourself? I feel like I look like a football player. Mm. Like, I hate myself. Because I really did have a thyroid problem. It took three years and I've gained, I gained 30 pounds. I want to have my boobs lifted. I want a tummy tuck. I want liposuction. Mm -hmm. I hate the way I look. I hate it. When you talk about football player, it makes me think that, do you like to see, I mean, do you think of feminine versus masculine? Do you think right. of that way? Do you, yeah. Okay. And so when you're a six, eight, so to yeah, speak, I, what, what, would you, what would you say about yourself? Well, I would look like a model okay. instead of a football player. Okay. Be a girl? Yeah. Do you feel like a girl now? No, not at all. Not today. Okay. And so where are you in your body, Josie? Not happy at all. Talk because I've been skinny and I was a size five and I went to an extreme 15 because I got pregnant. But now that I'm not pregnant anymore, there's not a reason to be as big as I am. And I started to kind of feel comfortable about how I looked here. And I, um, that completely diminished. Because what happened? I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I know, I, I was, I already knew it was coming. But um, she said a comment about my breasts in the pool. So I'm not gonna get in the pool anymore while I'm here. I tried to shop for a bathing suit, but I'm not going to now. But my ass is gonna be on that treadmill for sure no matter how good you dress no matter how much you cover it up i think it does your ability to be happy how much is a re direct reflection of your, how much you weigh 100 percent. summer you and your level of happiness and satisfaction with weight no no can i have more <laughs> no. i mean what, what well i want to ask a question we have, actually haven't asked you this what drove you i know you shared with us about your grandma and i think it was your grandma in the hospital mm -hmm. being overweight and that's what drove you to get the gastric bypass mm -hmm. Did you try exercise? Did you try food? So tell, I mean, tell I me had, about that. Some of my actors were personal trainers and they volunteered to do things for free. I mean, we did everything. And I could lose about 24 pounds and that's the most I could ever lose. Like, it just wouldn't go. How much does the gastric bypass cost? A little over 25000 Oh, my God. Wow. That's more than having in vitro. I would have rather have a new car. That's a lot. Well, that's a lot of money. I could buy a house for $25,000. It may not be the best house in the world, but if I was overweight, at least I had a house for Chloe and I. I've always been the fan of, if you feel fat, go to the gym. Quit eating McDonald's, quit eating your and go to the gym. I feel like the gastric bypass thing, unless you're like morbidly obese and can't get out of bed, I really don't think that it's necessary. So, Summer, how do you feel about what Jennifer's saying? I mean, it, and again, there's, I'm not, like, offended by it, but by the same token, I didn't, I don't eat fast food. I lived at home, I was overweight at six. You know what I mean? It's like, everybody's different. Yeah, you know, I could probably have controlled it, but I don't know, I mean, every, everybody's different, and so whatever works for one doesn't 
work for the other, but I was to the point where I was like, if I die having this, it's worth it. The women seem not to accept Summer's decision to have surgery, but I don't think it's about that. I think it's less about the surgery, and what it's really about is that she was the other woman. That's what they don't want to accept. It's been proven every single person in this room doesn't feel happy with their weight. We all want to be somewhere else with our weight, and maybe that will be the magic moment where we'll feel sexual and sensual and, and beautiful. <laughs> and what if I said to you, as we work on the insides, the outside, you'll feel better about that? So tonight, you're gonna have a special guest come to the starting over house. I'm not gonna say anything else. You just never know what Rhonda has up her sleeve. So, <laughs> I'm really anticipating to finding out who it is. Okay, 7.30 special guests come to the starting over house. Have fun. the assignment of recording the tapes and now Iyama wants me to go to the post office and mail them. As I'm driving to mail these tapes that I have completed for them, I feel a sense of relief. Hi. I need to mail these. I finally feel like I've accomplished something. Supporting you in the no makeup thing. I haven't put makeup on since the first day I got here. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I met Kim, I brought up the fact that I think she's a materialistic person. When I'm seeing her without all these things due to assignment where she has to give up her Louis Vuitton, she has to give up her jewelry. I think it's a great exercise for her, and I think that it's a great assignment as far as her to realize, you know, that those things don't make up Kim. Wow. This might make you feel better if you want me to. Wow. These diamonds right here, mm -hmm. I've never taken them out of my ears since I've been 16. Oh, no. Because my grandma bought them for me. Oh. So no, 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 no. No, I won't lose no. them. No. But I want to show you that I trust everybody here, so I'm going to take them out for you. Aww. So, oh, see, that's so sweet of you. I'll take them out, because you feel like you can't wear your jewelry, so I won't wear mine. Mm, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm your special guest. Hi. 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 Thank you, thank you. My name is Alana. I'm going to be giving you a mini belly dance yes. lesson. So, all of you in jeans may want to go up and change first into something a little bit more comfortable. Sweats, skirts, any of those. I am so happy. I am ecstatic. This is something that I've been wanting for a long time. What do we have to wear? Just loose. We... I wonder if I should put my pajamas on. You're fine, because your pants are loose. As Kim's telling me she thinks that she should go change into something more comfortable, she puts on some fancy, shiny, vibrant pajamas. And I'm kind of noticing a little bit more glitter and a little bit more glamour as far as her makeup goes. So um, she pretty much failed the assignment right off the bat in putting on something that would make her look glamified. So one of the great things about belly dance is it's a great way for women to bond and it's really good about body image because I'll tell you, we get women all ages, all sizes. Whenever a man sees a woman belly dance, it seems like she has them in a trance, like and the way she moves her body and it's just so sexual and sensual. And I've always wanted to do that. I just love it. Left, right, left, right. And if you can, go ahead and try to speed it up. Belly dancing is a way to uh, show a sexy side for curves. I think it may be one of the most amazing um, dances because the bigger your hips, the sexier it's gonna look. Around in a circle or two. Stir the pot and do the opposite direction. <laughs> as I'm learning how to belly dance, I'm realizing that I'm as uncoordinated as I thought I was. Now let's lift up our little left hand there. Yeah. Now a little shimmy if you can. Go, girl, go, go. You got it, you got it, hit it. Woo! -hoo! Okay! Good job. You be glad and happy and thankful. I spill the beans and tell Josie that Summer bought her a bathing suit 
And Josie is telling me that she now feels guilty. That makes me feel like charity, though. No, that's so not what it was. Is it because she is upset because I was mad? No. I don't know. You'll have to ask her tomorrow. Stop feeling like it's charity. I walk around like I did when I went to 7-Eleven here without my jewelry, without my makeup, without taking a shower. So for me, it just does, I just don't understand, you know, what the, what the point is see, because... I can see where they're going with this. You'll see it when you look back on it. You're not there yet. I can see. I Why? Can you mean because I'm mad? Oh, no, I think you can or be mad. Mean? I just think you're not, you're not at rock bottom yet. Things get worse. Worse? <laughs> worse? It couldn't get any worse, seriously. You think it could get worse? I know it could get worse. I think the next couple of days are going to be a walk through hell. Been taking all her jewelry. And my makeup. Her wedding ring. I don't see how it could get worse.